What a Catch, Part 74, a Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction. If you haven't heard the previous 73 parts of this story, you can find a link to them in the description box below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below in support of more fan fiction. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Adrian stared at Hawk Moth now safely standing in the end zone of the second trial. Great. All or nothing for the third round it is, then. He clambered down from his observation perch, holding on to his mask so it wouldn't fall off as he did so. Something was off about Alia, however. She seemed to be in a sort of... focused daze ever since running into Hawk Moth. He wasn't sure what to call it. So, what do you have for me next? Hawk Moth asked, tugging on his jacket sleeve to realign it. Are you sure you want to know? After this, you won't have your miraculous anymore. He knew he had to bluff his way out of this. It was designed to turn him into a martyr, but all he wanted now was to be with Marinette. Hawk Moth, Paris, they didn't matter but she wouldn't forgive him if he abandoned his service tied to the mask. You can stop pretending now, Adrian. The room froze as all eyes turned to Cat Noir. Both Alia and Lila exchanged glances, unsure if they should listen to their fight instinct or their flight instinct. Adrian felt sweat run down his spine as his blood ran cold unsure of his next move. How long had he known? That your cat noir? Since the last time we fought, of course. It's also how I know that Ladybug isn't coming this time around. I've only put up with your shenanigans out of mere amusement. What? Adrian could barely breathe as he stared in horror. Was he bluffing? Oh, I'm not bluffing, unlike you. He heard the girls shift uncomfortably. How can you... Know what you're thinking? Tell me, what happened all those years ago on the Eiffel Tower? I dropped Ladybug, and all of Paris thought her dead. And you ran away to New York to escape the aftermath of your actions, did you not? Why are we talking about this? A pit was growing in his stomach. Let's move on to the next trial. That won't be necessary. I know Ladybug isn't coming, and while this started out amusing, I've grown tired of it. So you're forfeiting? No, but perhaps you should ask these fine ladies what happened the last time we appeared in public together. What do you mean? Alia, was it? What do you remember of the Eiffel Tower incident? Adrian turned to look at a white-faced Alia, shifting uncomfortably. Alia? You were the one that fell, Cat Noir. Not Ladybug. He blinked twice and felt his legs lose strength. What? It's true, Lila chimed in. She's the one who dropped you. The government sealed the footage, but both Alia and I have backup copies due to the nature of our jobs. Silence echoed between the four of them as Adrian went through his memories. Why couldn't he remember that? More importantly, why did he have a different set of memories? Oh, aggressed, Hawk Moth said. You've been akumatized. He felt heat flash across his face as the girls gasped. No. No, that couldn't possibly be true. He'd know if he was. Besides, 
How could it be possible to be akumatized all these years? It simply wasn't possible. Right? Thank you so much for listening. Part 75 is on its way. If you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more fanfiction. I'll catch you next time.